Eat something, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see here, right in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen today, that's right, your boy, RDR, is doing the National Chicken Fried Steak Day, courtesy of Cotton Patch Cafe. That's right. Basically, a Cotton Patch Cafe mukbang, National Chicken Fried Steak Day. Now, coming up on the 26th, this Monday, it's National Chicken Fried Steak Day. Yes, sir. And chicken fried steak is a staple here in the great state of Texas, okay? 21. It's, th it's like three things pretty much that are sacred here in Texas. It's definitely brisket, barbecue, definitely football, and chicken fried steak. But now, that. you can get chicken fried steak pretty much anywhere in the state of Texas, but nobody does it better than Cotton Patch Cafe. Cotton Patch Cafe has been putting out great chicken fried steak since 1989 and they do it big i'm talking about really big and not only do they just do chicken fried steak they give they give us so many delectables in southern cuisine i'm talking about from fried to <laughs> fried green tomatoes to chicken and dumplings you name it anything southern they got it up you know what i'm talking about and uh they do it better when it comes to chicken fried steak and that's what we got here going on today i got chicken fried steak right here also had to try their chicken fried chicken. Now, I've had chicken fried steak from there before, and like I said, it's magnifique, okay? Chicken fried chicken, I can't wait to get into that. We got some mashed potatoes over here, macaroni and cheese, the beautiful rolls over here, some nice lemonade, and that's what we're gonna get here going today. So if this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio, and this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only just do food reviews, I do food vlogs, I do challenge videos, I do story time videos, the work. So, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom next to that notification bell so you can get the latest, greatest audio for reviews. Also, don't forget to check out the coldest water. The links are down below in the description box. Make sure that whenever you make a purchase for the coldest water, you type in my promotion code, refreshing, so you can get 10% off on your purchase. Also, don't forget to check them out for their giveaways. And, uh, yeah, Cuddy, that's what we got going on today. Let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer because the the smell of this gravy is ventilating through my nose. I'm telling you, <laughs> Father, bless this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless those that grow hungry as I pray to please follow some need in your holy graces. My name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, now, so we got the spots out the way. Time to get us a quick thumbnail in. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <sighs> I got to get at this, baby. <laughs> So yeah, man, Cotton Patch Cafe. I've done a review for Cotton Patch Cafe a long, long time ago when they had like fried macaroni sticks or whatever. Like I said, Cuddy, they they do it big when it comes to Southern cuisine. And I think it was like a strawberry shortcake, something or whatnot. But yeah, Cuddy, National Chicken Fried Steak Day. I'm telling you, chicken fried steak is everything here in Texas, all right? Boy. And um, like I said, Cod Patch Cafe has been doing it for at least three over three decades now. Coming out of Nacogdoches, Texas. <sighs> Refreshing. Good old lemonade right there. Let's go ahead and, I got a plastic. Hopefully this will cut through, okay? It got me a plastic utensils over here. It's time to get into this bad boy. First, let's get on these taters. <laughs> well, I think I got a homegirl at work that don't even say mashed potatoes. She's like, taters. <laughs> Super country. Taters. Look at that right there. Ah. Tasty. These are garlic mashed potatoes. And it's got um, like red skin. Garlic mashed potatoes and still got the skin on there, baby. That's real thing right there when you leave the skin on there, baby. Oh, so creamy, garlicky. I like this right here. The herbs and everything. Let's go for the moment of truth, baby. Already. I feel like I'm over here being very prissy. Better cut of this chicken fried steak like this. With a and butter knife. <laughs> you're the lowest form of life, man. Hold up. Oh man, this 
disregard technical error. I know what I'm gonna do right quick. I want to show y'all what this chicken fried steak look like. Nice crispy outside right there, golden brown. And I believe that they use um, cube steak, cube steak uh, for for the uh, the steak meat or whatnot. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it, baby. Maybe this should be a th winning. Perfect. Oh, baby. <laughs> Honey. The exterior is so crispy. Tonoy. And just the tenderness of that, that steak. Is there some white stuff on my lips? Pause. The tenderness cutting of that steak. Cause like with cube cube steak or whatnot, it it can be tricky to mess with when you're cooking it or whatnot. Cause it can turn out to be a little too chewy, but cutting. They hit it right on the coffin. It's really tender. <coughs> bang, bang, bang. My sugar in the background. Sneezing bubbles, but Make sure you get that Lysol over there. <laughs> You're not gonna put me on IR. Anyway, the treachery has been noted. And that gravy is so creamy. Kinda got like a a really creamy, milky like type flavor. You know what I'm saying? Like a real creamy taste. I feel like I'm on ceremony right here. And I know Cuddy people been hitting me up. Down in the dim about uh be working a lot lately and stuff cutting. Hey, your boy's gonna get on it for real, alright? You just gotta trust the process. Yes, sir. Mm. Have mercy. So good. I'm gonna get one of these, these rolls over here, baby. Go and sop that baby up. This is like just in time too. It done got cold, colder than a penguin's titty out there. It's frigid out there. As soon as the cold front came in Texas, it done got my baby. Got her sniffling. Sorry, baby. We're gonna get you some day quill soon. Baby, baby. Just hold on, sugar. But yeah, as soon as that cold front came here in Texas, it was a wrap. And you gotta have good, good comfort food for these times. Okay, I'm on smash mode right now. Get over here! I see some of this macaroni and cheese. But yeah, because it's getting cold out there. Time for your uh, fellas, your wives out there, get them to make some. Um, with some grilled cheese and some tomato bisque soup, like tomato bisque soup, I think. I always like grilled cheese and tomato soup for around these times, but every time I think of the fall, I think of chicken and dumplings. You know what I'm talking about? Some beef stew. Yeah, that's another compliment that goes good with grilled cheese. And some good old chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, you know what I'm talking about? Just, I just remember, boy coming home from, from school, the chicken fried steak be sitting up there on the stove, and like a little bread basket, mama over there flipping over there on the skillet. Yes, sir. And then I take my chicken nugget hands <laughs> and peach the skin because my favorite part of chicken fried steak is the skin. And as you can see, that skin right here is golden brown. They did not play around 
they got the measurements on point. You know what I'm talking about? Like I said, this this steak, the uh, the cube steak, it's so tender. And like I said, when you're messing with cube steak overnight, it can be tricky. Sometimes you can get too too. You can mess around and make it taste like beef jerky, but these boys are perfected it. Straight up. Cut it. And like I said, chicken fried steak is like all over Texas. Like I said, it's, it's like one of the, the brand foods of our state. That's why they got a national day for it. You know what I'm talking about? And some people, they go too crazy. They, they make chicken fried steak super massive. They'll think, well, bigger is better. That could be said true, but it's all about the flavors, baby. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Double refresh. It's about the flavors. And if you ain't got the measurements right, the yada there dot com. Cutty, I can't get over how good these mashed potatoes are. <clears throat> they are killing. This right here is going to have, I like the macaroni and cheese, um, but these mashed potatoes, top five, top five. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm trying to jump on this chicken fried chicken and cutting. Even right now, like I said, like they don't only do chicken fried steak well, and they, they got this chicken fried chicken right here. I haven't seen for like on the fall menu that they got chicken fried pork. What? Like colors, that's crazy, ain't it? Chicken fried, <sighs> chicken fried pork. They are out here chicken fried and everything. They got chicken fried bacon. It ain't no games going on over there at uh, Cotton Patch Cafe. Look at this, chicken fried chicken. <sighs> Let's get her done. Juicy. A very nice cutting. A very nice. That chicken is so, so delicious and so tender. And man, the breading, I just can't get over how how spectacular the exterior of the breading is. It's like, it's so crunchy. And it's like simple, you know what I mean? Like it's simple in flavor. You know, peppery, got a little, tastes a little cayenne pepper in there. Cause you so much of it. Oh man. These mashed potatoes got to go. <laughs> it's lit. Mm. be god dang illegal. <laughs> Call the game warden on your boy. I'm out here committing crimes. Speaking of game warden. Yo, hunters. Everybody that's out there in deer season. Everybody that's out there just murking animals. Yo. You need to get on your J-O-B. Hey, listen. There's a lot of loose bambies out here and uh, too many hogs, okay? I done seen too many of these suckers. I got some extra gravy over here. I done seen too many loose hogs running around in the great state of Texas. Excuse my language. Somebody need to exterminate these niggas. <laughs> To the hunters, what are you doing? You need to be out here slaughtering these bad boys. You know what I'm talking about? What are you doing at a? What are you at a, a kid rock concert or something? <laughs> Come on, man. They don't need to be running loose in these streets. Go mess around and damage somebody's vehicle. Bastard! 
I know, I fell victim to plenty of reindeer. And I took my, one of them, my old slab, took my passenger side mirror off. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I don't know if he died or not, but I don't feel bad for him. He came after me. I'm saying. So, in that sense, get on your job. And, uh, hunters out there, baptize these, uh, hogs. You know, us civilians out here, we need your services. Mm. I don't understand about this gravy. And I say shout out to Ju shout out to Julia who hooked your boy up with all these beautiful delights of Cotton Patch Cafe. Shout out to Cotton Patch Cafe. While I was talking about the gravy, I love how the thickness of the, the gravy, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing you have to look forward to, uh, look out for whenever you um getting chicken fried steak. Some places they have good chicken fried steak, they have decent chicken fried steak, but the gravy be watery. Out here serving you uh soy milk gravy out here. <laughs> be super drippy. Like, what are you doing? Okay? It's kind of like cereal milk. You can't be out here having no some dang dishwashing liquid cause, um, thin gravy out here. You gotta have the mix. You gotta have the match. You know what I'm saying? Some crunchy chicken fried steak. Good flavor. Tender. And you gotta have that nice, thick, not over thick, to where it's like chunky soup. Clam chowder. But it's gotta have a nice balance. You know what I'm talking about? Woo! And Compass Cafe has mastered it. And I'm telling you, I am encouraging you. On National Chicken Fried Steak Day, which is the 26th, take your ass to Cotton Patch Cafe. Tell them already order and sent you. Make sure you get the signature, the signature Chicken Fried Steak. And you get a chance to get plenty of sides, make sure you get the go out mashed potatoes. You did. So illegal. Finish her. This is so good. I'm gonna take one big bite. An arm. I'm gonna dip this in here. Baptize it in the gravy. Fatality. Oh, it was heavy. Again, you know what I'm talking about? Chicken fried steak hit like Mookie Betts in the ninth. Let's go ahead and close this bad boy out. Ultra refreshing. Ultra, ultra, that everybody ultra, is my ultra. national chicken fried steak cotton patch cafe mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh my god, I enjoyed it too much. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, hey, look, food is a gift, so please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, you really don't like my content, go and hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm gonna live it like I always have. It's your boy RDR. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care already. I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all soon. God bless y'all, and good night.